the magic door. Hello. <laughs> Do you need help? Should we, should we push together? Okay. One, two, three. Oh, no, no, wait, oh. Wait, wait, wait. hi, I'm Lavi. And I'm Ollie. And this is our hero, Bumblebee. Together, we are attempting a Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by, by motorcycle. motorcycle. Join us for season three here in South America. Welcome back to the channel. It's day number 255 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. We're here on the cold and windy island of Tierra del Fuego at the very bottom of Patagonia. We're on the Chilean side of the island now and we're just uh, having our breakfast inside this shelter here. Just to get out of the wind for a minute. Yeah, last night we camped outside here just in front of the shelter and I can tell you it was really cold, it was really windy, we didn't really have a lot of sleep this night and we are still a little bit sick as well, so yeah, pretty hard life. <laughs> but we've got some breakfast wraps with the leftover food that we cooked at our gourmet border cooking session yesterday. Look at this, aubergine bean wrap with a freshly squeezed orange and mandarin juice. And we've got a really exciting place to visit this morning, so let me show you guys where we're headed today. So we are actually back up here. Yesterday we took the same road that we took to get down to Ushuaia, and today we're gonna to be seeing a penguin colony here in Initil Bay, before taking this road around to take a ferry from Port of Enir across to Punta Arenas and up back into the mainland. Yeah, this penguin reserve called Pinguino Rey is really special because it's actually the only place outside of Antarctica where you can see king penguins. And these are like full-size crazy penguins, like exactly what you see on a penguin bar. So we're really excited to go and see them this morning. After the visit, we will make our way back over to the mainland and then we will head north, north, north. Let's see how far we can get. We don't know exactly where we will end up, but it will be a good ride. So it's already nine o'clock, so better hit the road. Let's go. Into the cold. <laughs> <laughs> the wind is blowing. Beautiful views though. Oh, man, it's cold. Whew. Jesus. All right. Make my way out to the road. Okie dokie. Arzy jokey. <laughs> okay, let's see how the gravel is here. Yep. Hopefully it's not too bad. Yeah, I took the tire pressure down this morning. 34 in the front, 38 in the back. It's just a little bit too cold and too windy. <laughs> so I'm actually quite excited to get the ferry over to Punta Arenas and get back to the mainland, to be honest. Road looks good. Yeah, it's quiet. It's not, it's not very deep gravel or anything. Not at the moment. Whoa, look at this. Big, big sheep shearing station. You can see the ramp where they funnel the sheep up in. Wow, this looks like it must have been here for years. It looks like something out from a horror movie. Actually, it does a bit, yeah. <laughs> a beautiful, massive herd of guanaco here this morning. Uh, and a sheep as well. <laughs> but it's funny, the guanacos can jump that fence but the sheep can't, so he doesn't oh. know what to do. Oh, oh no. wow, there's some fighting. Oh, wow, cool. Fighting with their heads, with their necks. Yeah. Or playing. Fight, fighting or playing. I Wait, look, 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 I think they're gonna jump. Oh, no, they're not. Beautiful. 
All right, I think this is the place. Park Penguino Ray. Let's see if somebody is at home. <laughs> <laughs> Penguins or people? <laughs> Penguins, of course. Ah, uh, yeah, we don't care about the people. <laughs> so we've actually booked ourselves in for a tour at 10 o'clock and it's 9.40 now. And maybe Anya's and Glenn made it. Let's see. Yeah, yesterday we met up with our friends Anius and Glenn. Oh, is these bloody hitchhikers here, <laughs> eh? Yes. And they were supposed to come here this morning with us, uh, but we haven't seen them this morning. They didn't pass us, and I don't think they got across the border hitchhiking last night. So we might have to visit the penguins alone. Oh, The magic door. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Do you need help? Should we, should we push together? Okay. One, two, three. Oh, no, no, wait, oh. Wait, wait, wait. oh okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> totally my fault. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot. Uh, I feel like a clown right now. There we go. <laughs> they need your water okay. anyway. Uh, <laughs> Hola. Hola. Good morning. Pequino Ray. Bye, Inutil. Bye, Inutil. Yes, a useless bay. <laughs> it's called Useless Bay? Yes, the, the Engl in English. It's not useless to penguins, is it? No, it's useless for the humans. Ah, useless uh, for the humans. This bay is not uh, very deep, so... The ah, ships, the ships can't uh, come. Count, yeah. So we're just coming up to the observation hut. <laughs> Is. Yes, because the king penguin they uh, don't create a cave or a nest. They put the egg on their feet and cover their with their feathers. So they're just like emperor penguins. Yes, in their the emperor penguin and the king penguin are the only two penguins to method to to put the egg here. And it's is it always the male that puts the egg? No, or the, no, no, no. Uh, this is in the imperator. Okay. Here, the the care of the egg is the both parents. Okay, so they switch. They yeah, transfer every week the... for two months. Wow! For example, you can see uh, a bull. This is they, the penguin with an egg, and you can see the penguins with the with the head in the back. Yeah. They is the position to sleep. Oh uh, wow! But they're, they're like two laying down as well. Ah, they, uh, they? Uh, is a position to rest or refresh. Uh, stay up uh, with the egg here, and they don't move for a one week. Oh. They only to rotate to put the back in the, uh, for the wind. For the wind. Awesome. So these guys are king penguins, as you may have heard. The second largest penguin species in the world behind the emperor penguin. And they are absolutely beautiful penguins. Wow. We have to be quite quiet not to disturb the penguins. They're just over there. Oh my God. They are absolutely beautiful, these penguins. Wow. They don't do too much. Just a little bit of walk, waddling around. You know, one penguin sort of walks a little bit, the other penguins sort of walk a little bit next to him. Then they all stop for a bit. They don't talk, they don't do anything. They just... <laughs> they're quiet, they're chilled. Yeah, she said that they're not very, uh, they're not very social. <laughs> they sort of all just around each other. But there's a bit of a uh, observation uh, deck which is elevated just in front so we can get a little bit of a aerial view on the colony. But it's so cool because this is actually the only king penguin you can see from, from the mainland. All the other colonies are on different islands around. Yeah, and really, really remote subpolar islands yes. like South Georgia and the Falklands. So really, this is the only really accessible place that you can see king penguins in the world. Really cool. 
Alberto, our guide, told us as well that actually it was only in 2008 that the first group arrived here. They reckon from the Falkland Islands, but they're not 100% sure where they came from. Uh, they were actually here historically before, but uh, then they left because of too much human activity. And uh, now since they've returned, those eight have become this colony here. And now it's a reserve and it's protected and they don't allow us to get any closer than this. So we can only hope that they're all gonna stick around for a while this time. Wow, what a visit, oh my God. I didn't expect to see so many. I mean, we were prepared to just see like two, but they are like up to hundreds. Like, oh, so cool, super cool. So, but anyway, now we are pretty hungry, so we have some lunch. What do we got for lunch? Yes, we have our uh, egg from yesterday, scrambled egg with a little bit of beans, and I boiled as well some potatoes yesterday morning. <laughs> So we will have some potatoes with it as well. Just chuck it all together <laughs> and it's just making something amazing. I love it. Not a bad camping meal, hey? <laughs> Goodbye, penguin array. <laughs> Goodbye, beautiful penguins. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah, that's a really, 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 really nice place. I was really impressed actually. Yeah, I was super impressed too. It's always good when you come into it not really knowing what to expect and then you just walk in and you just see all of those amazing penguins there and they're so beautiful and so like unreal looking. Yes, and so easy to visit as well. I mean, we just parked up, walked for 10 minutes and then ta-da! <laughs> yeah. Look at me, guys. Yeah, it's amazing. Wow. It's brilliant. Also, she told us, uh, our guide told us that they are feeding four days, so they will be four days away. And we were really lucky because one penguin just returned from his four days being like in the water. Yeah. And he was like, he looked really tired. He was like, oh, walking along the beach, but very slowly and waiting and then walking a little bit. He so was cute. full of fish. He was totally full. <laughs> totally <laughs> full of fish. And the guys working there and all the people, they were so nice, so friendly and welcoming. So it was a really, really nice place to visit. Yeah, everyone is really into it. Everyone really loves the penguins there. They love the penguins. You yeah. have to love the penguins there because <laughs> they have to actually live there because there's no towns nearby here that they can sort of commute to and from, you know. So they actually, during the season, uh, they live there the whole time. Yeah. I want to live there. Yeah, they, they're basically <laughs> part of the colony. <laughs> Amazing. Twelve thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine. Thirteen thousand miles. Whee! Hey. Whee! <laughs> Ocean views! <laughs> and 56 kilometers to Porvenir, where we'll be taking the ferry across to the back to the mainland to Punta Arenas. And look at these crazy mountains! Yeah, it looks lovely here. What a view!
Well guys, we just were stopping here to do some super awesome drone footage and we saw some dolphins right next to the shore here popping up their little fins just off the beach. Oh wow, how close they are. There's three of them. There's one at the back there as well. Oh god, they're so close to the shore. Ah, there. Wow. Beautiful. Amazing, no? Oh, I love it. Incredible. I love it. Look, here's some Fuegan gauchos doing some uh, sheep wrangling. <laughs> Look at all the sheep. Whoa. There's loads of them. We have reached tarmac again and we have reached the town of Porvenir. <laughs> nice. So this is pretty much the last other major settlement on the island Sierra del Fuego. We are looking now for the ferry actually. Yep, yeah, but I can see that the main road is blocked. Oh, okay. So we'll go down here. Yeah. Yes, we'll be taking the ferry across from this town to Punta Arenas to continue our way north on the mainland. Oh, I like the sound of that. Very cute place here. <laughs> Actually is really cute, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. So do you know where the port is or should we look on the map? <laughs> I don't know, I was going to continue around the coast until I saw it. Must be somewhere here, no? Yeah, somewhere here. That's a really cute church. And look at this building, it looks really historic. Yeah, wow. Look at that building. That could be the ferry like terminal. What's going on here? It says area de embarque. Uh, ah, yeah, here. Embar embarcadero here. Let's see if there's anything going, if there are, actually are any ferries. So let's go and see if we can find some sort of office and see if there are any boats. Okay, so there was absolutely nobody around here. Uh, the schedule was a bit confusing to read, but there may not be any ferries for today. We read on iOverlander that people got their tickets in town, so we're going to head back into Porvenir and see if we can find a place to talk to somebody about when the next one is. So we're in the town and we found this building in front of us and that's where you get the tickets from. The nice yellow building. Yeah, that turned out it was the ticket office. Unfortunately, there isn't a ferry until tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Uh, we're not sure exactly the conversion rate of Chilean pesos, but it's something around 20 to 30 pounds for us and the bike. So we bought our tickets here for tomorrow morning at 8. So we have just one more mission in town before we leave, which is to top up our Chilean SIM card, which our friends Agnes and Glenn gave to us. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> So we're going to find a place to top that up and then find a place to camp and just have a chill out ready for tomorrow. Yeah. So the ladies in the ticket office told me that we could top up our SIM card on the main street here, somewhere here on the left, at a place called Paulina, they said. There's a kiosk. Did you say on the left or on the right? I think on the left. It could be on the right. Paulina, I can see it. Perfect. All right, mission accomplished. But uh, we had some trouble in that, just like in, uh, I think it was Brazil, you can only top up uh, with cash, you can't use cards. 
So of course we don't have any Chilean pesos because we just arrived in Chile yesterday. So uh, we had to pay with Argentinian pesos instead, but they gave us an absolutely terrible exchange rate. But then we didn't know that our number. So we tried to find it out and I was going and looking online and trying to figure out how do I find out this number. Eventually we did find the number and we did get it topped up, but it took a little while. We tried to go to the bank to get Chilean pesos, but our card is not working here. So we will try some other banks over in Punto Arenas or in Puerto Natales is another town that we'll be heading to but for now that's it for today we are just going to make our way now to a free camp on the other side a couple of kilometers from the ferry because the ferry is at 8 a.m so it's super early yeah we have to go to bed early tonight <laughs> absolutely it says a uh, parking zone I mean, what do you think is better, up here or down there? Hmm. It doesn't feel as windy here. Yeah, it feels a little bit more like off the off the track, no? Yeah. Yeah, like sort of over there. Yeah, I guess we could just camp over there, no? The stretch of Magalans starts here that goes around Tierra del Fuego from the mainland. Ah, oh, interesting. So I don't know if this is an island. Let me see on this map. No, that should be Punta Arenas on the other side. Oh, cool. So there you go. Perfect. And this will be our spot. Good evening, guys. We made it. Happy and alive. Yeah, we've built up our camp here just on the outskirts of town. And oh my God, guys, it's full of dolphins here. We spotted probably already 10 or 15. They're just coming up and down. It's absolutely amazing. It's such a beautiful spot. There's some islands and some snowy mountains way up in the background. It's just absolutely stunning here. Yeah, we're gonna get an early night tonight that we can catch the ferry tomorrow morning at eight o'clock. So that's it from us today. We did about 90 miles today. And and we hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us this thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below, and we will see you next time. Not a bad camping meal, hey? <laughs>